What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Heart Media. I'm your host, T Heart. Today we'll be doing some maintenance on my 2013 Audi All Roads B8 platform. Uh, we're going to change the oil, oil filter, drain bolt. We're also going to change out the spark plugs and the call packs. So let's get to it. All right, all right, all right. So now we're going to get started. 2013 Audi All Road B8 uh, 2.0. Now this is not your regular 2.0. This has the stage two APR E85 tune on it, high flow cat. Uh, so with that being said, you're gonna burn through some of your stuff because of that tune, spark plugs, calls, etc. So we're putting the uh, NGK 1675s in there. I heard those pretty good for stage two tunes. Through my friends at Audi Zine. Also, we're putting the Eldor R8 uh, calls on there. That should be pretty good. And I got I got these uh, spark plugs and calls from ECS Tuning. They had a kit for the B8 2013 A4 All Road. Either or, both the same. Well, not exactly, but close. All right, so let's get started. Okay, let's get started here. Get started, you gotta pull this cover off, it just pops in. Uh, there's no screws or anything to get off, but it does pop in pretty tight, so you wanna make sure you got a good hold on it. Alright YouTube, let's get started. Uh, first we're going to take the coils out, but to take those out, you have to take some of these uh, Torx loose. It's Torx, uh, it's a T20 I believe, T30. It's a T30, so we're going to take these two loose. Try to That's all we have to take loose. Not sure. We'll see. Now you have to take these uh, unclip these uh, clips to the coils. I believe you have to push them in. Some of them are tight and some of them are loose. This probably means somebody prior to me broke one or two of them. That one's tight, that one's loose, this one's tight. Huh. Okay, after further review, find out that all these clips were pretty much broke anyway. They were just pushed in there, but they really weren't holding. So, let me know that even though I was probably pulling it the wrong way, they were already broke. I have to jump online and see if FCP or ECS has those. So now, we're going to take these coils out. I'm going to do mine one by one even though it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not like you can get the timing wrong or anything. But Now I heard that these were pretty hard to get out. A lot of people had to use a pry uh, to get them out. They are. <laughs> yeah, they are. So they're not going to just pop out of there. Yeah, 
You're not just going to pull those out of there, are you? No, sir. And it prime a little bit. There we go. And this is what I mean by without it. If you do it the way it's supposed to be done, it works easy. If you do it the wrong way, something's going to break. That one doesn't hold. Wow. It's kind of kind of slimy in there. Huh. What is that? I'm gonna take a picture of that on my cell phone and post it in the video so you can see what I'm seeing. It looks like grease in there, but it's not grease. It looks like dried up oil. Oh. Well, if you see the video and tell me what what you think about that in the comments. Well, there might be some. I don't know. It looks like it might be some uh, gasket sealer. Gasket. Pull this first plug out of here. Got a long extension, five eighths uh, socket. I think it's actually mm -hmm. yeah, some easy K's in there. That's good. It don't look too bad. PFR7S. I saw those online. It don't look bad. I mean, it's not great, but I'm gonna change them. One of the main reasons that I'm changing these is because for one, I don't know how long they've been in here. So for that reason alone, I'm gonna take them out. Play some with the. Uh, huh. Look at that. Same one. Okay. Well. I thought this had a different name on it. It was different than the ones I had. But they're the same. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, when you drop your spark plug back in there. Even though I'm using a cordless ratchet, I don't want to use that to put this back in there. For one, I want to feel my threads. I want to feel that it's going in there smooth and it's not sticking up, it's not cross threading. And I want to turn it by hand all the way until it gets snug. So now that's snug. Okay, once you get it snug, the proper way to tighten them down is 22 foot-pounds of torque. Well, my torque wrench that I just bought, it, uh, it's a half inch. I don't have a half inch uh, spark plug socket, so what I'm going to do is make a good educated guess. And that feels about right to me right there. And I'm going to stop there. What I'll do, I'm going to go replace that tomorrow. Take it back, get the right size. And then I'll come back and double check the torques on these. I'm sure I won't be too far away. So I'm dropping in my new coils. It's the Eldora. 
or a coil. Let's push that over there nice and snug. Alright. We got one down, three to go. Pretty simple, huh? Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm trying to get this up under there. This is actually a, a door hardware pry tool. But hey, just because it has a name for a job don't mean it can't do something else. You know what I mean? You just want to pick pry that off of there real slow, side to side. Not pushing too hard. Just want to work it off of there nice and steady. Again, you can't go by looks. So, I'm just changing them anyway. Because again, I don't know how long they've been in here. I don't know what they've been through. had to be torqued about the right specs this little uh this little xt is supposed to break at 30 which youtube video guys saying it couldn't break at 30 but it's breaking them loose fairly easy so it has to be around the 20 something pound foot torque that's the second one doesn't look too bad supposed to be pre-gapped I am not checking them I'm gonna be honest uh, which technically I should be but I'm not reason being I don't like to check pre-gapped spark plugs because if you check them the wrong way this is my opinion you can knock the pre-gap out of whack so, I don't like to check them if they're supposed to be pre-gapped. Now, if I put them in and I get some misfiring or something like that, okay, yeah, I'll pull them out and check them. But that way, at least it'll point me to which one may be not gapped properly. And I can just deal with that one instead of trying all four. And now I have a four plugs that I'm checking and trying to gap and check and gap and check. No. Again, that's just my opinion. Yeah. I'm stop there. That feels good. Yeah. Number two, we need one out of hitch. Just keep it moving. Second coil. I think that red looks looks hot. <laughs> that red looks hot. That's why I wanted them. Beside the. The sign that they're supposed to be better. They look good. Alright, let's move on to this next one here. Pop this one off. Same process, just kind of pry it slow. Don't try to just, you know, snatch it off of there. 
give it a good slow raise and comes right on out of there. And it's some weird looking stuff in here. What is that? It's like dirt, ash or something. While I got that old plug in there, I'm gonna reach in there and clean that out. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have this picture. I'm almost certain. That's a guesstimate. Anyway, I'm gonna keep moving because if I get stuck on that, it'll be a 20 hour video. Third plug doesn't look bad. And is it great? No. Is it better than the new one? No. But best believe I'm not throwing them away. Again, I go in by hand first. Try to guide it in as straight as I possibly can till I get it seated. Screw it in. Make sure it's not cross threading. I'm getting a nice smooth turn. Once I get it snug, go back with my cordless here. All right. Again, I'm just going by feel because my torque is a half inch. Which is probably it's my fault I bought a half inch because I saw it on sale and I was afraid and jumped on it. I didn't even I didn't look at the size. So I'm gonna take that back. That's my fault. Alright, going in with third call. Nice and smooth. Get it lined up before you give it a hard push. I'm gonna get that out the way a little bit. There we go. There you go. In there. All right. On to this last one here. I'm also gonna be changing this out. PCV or a separator. That'll be my next video. But since I am, I'm just going ahead and use this to give me some some room to pry this out since I'm going to change it anyway. There we go. There we go. So while I'm doing this anyway, I bought this uh, all road about a year ago, uh, and I bought it for one. I'm a hardcore Audi fan, but I also I saw a video on YouTube, and I post a screenshot of that video. Uh, this guy with this bagged out all road, same as this one, 
and I just fell in love with it. I said, you know what, I got, I gotta get one of those. I always like wagons anyway. Even those old 1990 Honda Core wagons. Oh, I wanted one so bad back in the day. Uh, you know, sobs. I'm always been a fan of wagon and hatchbacks. So, had to get this one. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh. There we go. So yeah, I had to get this one after I saw that video. And uh, I pretty much wanted to look just like that one. Airbags and everything. So it's going to be more like a, I don't want to say show cars. I'm not, I'm not going to take it to shows. This is going to be my car that I can do stuff with that I wouldn't do it to any one of my other cars. Airbags and, you know, st stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of videos coming up, especially involving this one here, because this um, when I bought it, it was at 72,000 miles or so, and now it's like 81, 82. Uh, so it's that time for maintenance, you know, on this one. So that's why we're digging into it, making sure everything's done and right and so we can keep her on the road. And this little rope piece here. I'm gonna have to look up, look on ECS for those and see if there's something I have to try to replace or what, cause I definitely broke two of them. <laughs> so this is the little piece that I broke on those two. I don't know if you can see that. But and this one just came out, so I don't even think it's Yeah, they had to be they had to be broke because it's not even holding in there. Yeah, we'll have to look that up. And go ahead and replace those. Put these, well, you know what? Well, next we're gonna move on to the PCV oil separator. So I'm not gonna put those screws back in there yet because I believe you might have to take one or two of those out to get this off. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope somebody learned something. I hope you subscribe i hope you like the video and we can keep bringing it working on audis working on whatever diy heart media i'm t heart stay tuned like subscribe